Election 2023, most people didn't vote. They stayed home. Um, it's always the way it is on an off election year when there's not a president or governor, or that kind of thing running. Um, not too much to report on it other than the abortion thing that the press is making a big deal out of. And I'll put it into perspective for you uh, in a moment. But it's very important that you understand that now in America, 2023, November, the deceit at the media level is the highest it has ever been. And it's very, very important that you know that. You can't believe most of what you hear. And that's why we are in business. And so we hope you spread the word because um, it, was, it was interesting. I was on a Hannity radio program uh, today, as I am every Wednesday, uh, and I'll do News Nation tonight with Cuomo. I do that every Wednesday. Wednesday's a busy day. But I disagreed with Hannity on a couple of things uh, today that I think caught him by surprise. So we're not here to uh, push any political party or ideology. We're here to tell you what the deuce is happening so you can make your own decisions. But that is not the agenda of uh, most others uh, in this country. Um, so again, we need you to spread the word. So uh, yesterday's vote is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Press is screaming the Democrats had a good night. Uh, you know, they didn't have a bad night. Was it good? I, uh, you know, that, that's a relative word. Um, Ohio, it was one ballot measure about abortion. Uh, to enshrine it in the Constitution of Ohio, the state constitution. So that that won 57-43, overwhelming one in a very Republican state. So the state constitution now guarantees every person in Ohio the right to one's own reproductive medical treatment, including but not limited to abortion. Okay, it's basically a play against big government. And this is what the Supreme Court intended to kick the abortion issue back to the individual states so the folks could vote on what kind of an abortion law they want. And the law is going to differ from state to state. Here in New York, where I am, they don't, there's never going to be any restrictions on abortion again. Never. You're going to be able to go, and the day you're supposed to give birth, you can kill that fetus or that baby, whatever, you know. And you can do that in New York, and nobody's going to do anything about it. But in other states, there are going to be time limits. In Ohio, there will be. But this just basically enshrines it. Now, let's get into uh, Virginia. So the governor, Glenn Youngkin, and I, I talked to Hanny about this today. He won because he stuck up for parental rights when his opponent, Terry McAuliffe, said, no, back off, you parents. The schools will tell you how to raise your kid. And Youngkin said, you're nuts, and Youngkin won. Well, Youngkin got behind a restrictive abortion law in Virginia, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and he lost uh, yesterday. So the state legislature, state Senate, is Democrats 21, Republicans 17. House of Delegates, 51 Democrat, 47 Republicans. It's close, but that didn't do Youngkin any good. All right, it did. Because now he's got to deal with a legislature that's Democrat. Um, now. Here in where I live on Long Island, there are more than three million people here, all right, on this island, which stems from Brooklyn to Montauk Point and to Orion on the North Shore. This used to be solid liberal territory here. That's flipped. So there isn't a wave toward the Democrats. So the Republicans on Long Island consolidated gains yesterday. Now, there was no abortion thing in play, right? This was based on social disorder, crime, taxes, all the things the Democrats are pushing uh, and making society worse. So be very, very careful. One uh, other caveat before we get to the rest of the program. The Republican Party would be very smart because Trump is already doing it, 
to de-emphasize abortion. And I disagreed with Hannity about that. Hannity thinks, no, no, no. You are not going to convince people who want to believe that abortion is okay, that it's not okay. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode, anytime on BillOReilly.com. Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.